Science is not just what you observe. We have to first understand that. Observations are required for science, but science or scientific theories and conclusions are not just observations. Okay, so when I see the moon, and therefore the moon exists, that's not really a scientific theory or a scientific explanation. It's just I'm mirroring my observations. Okay, science requires observations, and what science does, it reasons, right? It uses reason to understand the observations themselves. Say you have more than five observations, you see five obs observations about a particular phenomenon, you use now your rational faculties to make inferences or to see if there's any connections between these observations and to understand them holistically, to understand them in a comprehensive way. That's essentially science, right? And that's the beauty of science. Now Bertrand Russell, he said in his book Religion and Sci Science published by Oxford, Science is the attempt to discover by means of observation and reasoning based upon it. So it's by means of observation, you have observation, direct and indirect observation, and you reason over those observations. And he continues to basically discover particular facts about the world and the laws connecting facts with one another. So that's essentially what science is. Yes, there's much more to it than that. The method is a very interesting method and there are debates amongst the philosophers of science concerning its method. For example, if you're a Popperian, Karl Popper, you might you know, want to adopt falsification, but if you're a soft Popperian, you'd be like, it's useful, but you know, falsified theories can change if you change the assumptions. You can revive falsified theories if you change the assumptions. There's big debates about these things, but let's put them to the side. The point is, you require observations and you require require a rational mind, a human intellect, to understand those observations. That, in essence, is science, okay?